only time against the hero and sensation from Mexico in Sal Canelo Alvarez. Victories over Mosley, Trout, Lara, Cotto, Khan, Chavez Jr., even Triple G. He's a huge favorite to add another world title and another weight to his name. The big height advantage for Fielding. Will it be one? Or will Alvarez's speed and class just make him an easier target? There's the body shot. And again from Alvarez early on. And a left hook to the body. No feeling out process from the Mexican. No Rocky Fielding. Fairness who come out, took the center of the ring, tried to get his jab going, tried to back. Alvarez up, I don't know if he's backed him up, but just that Alvarez has elected to back off and have a look. Already ridden around the ribs, Rocky Fielding does come back with a combination. Good defense from Alvarez. Oh, and a lovely body shot. Lovely body shot, whipping these in early. Yep, that was a great body shot from Canelo, got behind the elbow. Backing, Fielding up on the ropes. And prepared to take the fight right to the Brit, not in any way daunted by the size or the weight. It's Alvarez, and back comes Fielding. Yeah, this is good from Rocky, though, answering him back. And, he, you know, Canelo's landed some big shots there, but Rocky Fielding, fairness to him, comes firing back. Another oh, body shot, good and body down shot. goes Fielding in the first round. Four, takes the knee. Five, six, seven, and just about gets eight. to his feet. A minute left in the round, Adam. He was blown away by Callum Smith in a round in Liverpool. Could it all happen again? He's going to bite down on that gum shield and try and survive. But Alvarez, the predatory finisher. Another body shot. The tactics. Oh, that hurt as well, Adam. From Alvarez. Uh, he needs to get close here and tie him up. Left hand as well to the head this time from Alvarez. And at the moment, it's all far too much for poor Rocky Fielding. Yeah, I think he needs to close the distance, try and hold him, survive the moment, get through these last 30 seconds, get back to the corner, let the head clear. Tries the uppercut. He's getting those gloves in tight, Fielding. Can he make it back to the corner and back to the safety of Jamie Moore? Yeah, I think he's going to make it through the round. Ten eight round to Canelo, but Fielding survives. Just. Breathe. You're holding your feet. You have that half step. Try and get his coming out. Yeah, Canelo just lifted him up with the right uppercut, then got found that gap behind the elbow and sunk it in. Absolute signal right in that floating rib area, rib area. Just took the wind out of Rocky's mouth. And he did probably did the right thing by taking the knee, trying to get his breath back. You just see him here and he lifts him up, gets round the elbow again. He took that well because that hurt him, but he sucked it up. <laughs> But he's found the gap already, he's done it the first round, he's found that gap around the back of the elbow. Nightmare start. Some are saying there's weight divisions for a reason, but there's also levels in this game. Absolutely, Adam. And Canelo Alvarez, there aren't too many that are on that level. He's in the very elite of elite fighters in the world today. Got to be in everyone's top five, pound for pound. And he's the number one superstar in boxing. The white trunks of Rocky Fielding with his children's names on the front and back and the all red of Mexico's Sal Canelo Alvarez. Still just 28, he seems like he's been around for years, thumping in the body shots, Fielding, trying to come back with uppercuts of his own. He can bang, but can he do anything in with someone like Canelo? Right hand to the body.
He's getting close. He's a good shot from Rocky there, throwing the rough up through the middle. I was going to say, he's finding it a little too easy to get close to Rocky. He's just walking forward and getting close to him, and Rocky's not fainting. He's not hitting him as he comes. Well, it's good the long, body shot. It's the long body, isn't it, that he's finding. Fielding digging in, trying to get his own uppercuts back. There's another left hook to the body. Just has to backtrack Fielding towards his own corner. But this is brave. He's throwing the leather back at Alvarez. Yeah, opening up with quick flurries. Getting through some uppercuts. Oh, oh big right hook. hand from Alvarez. Back comes Fielding. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, very exciting. Fielding answering him back with quick flurries. Three, four uppercuts. Then finishing on the hook upstairs. Oh, oh. uppercut from Alvarez. Back comes Fielding. And they really are throwing hard punches in there early. I think Rocky's realised there's no point trying to move around the ring here and outbox him. He probably feels more comfortable standing toe to toe. Even though he's coming off second best, he is landing his own shots as well. He is having success. This is good work with Rocky. Yeah, he's done much better, but there's the uppercut that almost lifts him. Rocky Fielding. What a journey he's had, Fielding. The prize fighter winner, and now he's come back from that Callum Smith defeat and rebuilt his career. His oh, life. Another, body shot. another body shot, and down he goes. 20 seconds left in the second. Six. And the body Seven. shot's undoing fielding. Hey. You you good? He's just okay. about all right. He says he's okay, but he knows he's in a whirlwind of trouble here. He knows the difference. He knows he's never been in with anyone at this level or anywhere near it before. But he's he's doing okay. Apparently, I mean, he's losing 10-8. When I say he's doing okay, he's being competitive. He's coming back. He's landing shots. Three, but then, you know, Canelo just pulls a great shot out of the back, pulls the man down. Excuse the language from he's Jamie. Finish it off. You're How still sitting there. You're still sitting there too long. But when you're half-stepping, he's catching on the shots that he make. You miss. When you come to the ropes and he loads for the head, sit into him. Well, Jamie trying to give him encouragement, says he's blowing, but, you know, he's brave, very brave fielding, and he's giving it a go back. And, he, and he's having some success, Adam, when he's throwing those double and triple uppercuts up the middle. He is landing, he's, he's scoring punches, but it's just the quality. That's the difference. You know, when Canelo lands, you can see the effect. He's a craftsman. You know, he shared a ring for Gennady Golovkin twice. He's... And, 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 and a, the car, and there's so much he's who, done. An absolute who's who. He's fought absolutely everyone of his era, even only, Mayweather. Only, yeah, and only Floyd Mayweather to beat him. That stunning win over James Kirkland in three as well. This is the third here. WBA regular super middleweight title. Don't ask us to explain all the, the different classifications of the WBA but Callum Smith holds the belt the super champion Rocky Fielding still in this but down twice with body shots and Alvarez looking for another can he survive Fielding I mean, there's been two knockdowns, but he was okay. He went down, he was momentarily winded, and he took a knee. These body shots. But these are good shots. Are beginning to really get home. But this is good. Fielding. This is good from Fielding. He's, yep. not, he's not allowing Canelo to pull him. He's fighting back. That's a good right hook from Canelo. Tremendously exciting. And he's going. If he goes down, he's going in a blaze of glory, Rocky Fielding. He's trying ever so hard. But Alvarez, with the added quality... And these body shots are just coming in time and again. It's just how long he can stay, stand this, Adam. That's the thing. Huge credit to Jamie Moore and Rocky Fielding's team to get him in this condition over the last 12 weeks. Because I think if he wasn't, he'd be out of there by now. Without a doubt. And not just the physical condition, his fitness, but his mental preparation. They've instilled an inner belief in him. You know, because he's still fighting back, he's coming off second best, the quality works all coming from Canelo, with a great spirited effort from Fielding. It's really spirited, blood from the nose as well, but still, he chucks a right hand back at Alvarez. This is his only opportunity at Madison Square Garden.
He had a photo outside here after the Callum Smith defeat. And now he's living this dream. And whatever happens now, he will go back with his head held high. Well, he's come out and he's had a real go here. He's doing two oh, big ball. Massive shot, this time to the head. Fielder looks at Jamie Moore. Five, six, Is he going to be seven, able to make it? Brave eight, again, but down eight, in every eight, round. Eight, eight. And how much is left? Okay. Uh, one more time, man. I don't think he's going to survive long. I think another knockdown, the, the, ref, the ref's going to wave this fight over. Oh, oh big beautiful body shot. body shot. He almost goes down. It is over. Canelo Alvarez, emphatic, stunning, and another devastating victory to add to the pile as he becomes the WBA regular super middleweight champion. That's three weights now. And he arrives in a new division with new challenges. And although Rocky, huge ask for fielding, even to compete. And I think people look at it and say, he's been blown away, knocked down several times in three rounds. But he tried his best and he showed so much heart and guts to do what he could in there. And I think for that, we could take our hat off to Rocky. Absolutely take your hat off to him. He went in there and gave his absolute best. What more can